Hello? Do you like scary movies? I love horror, including the products I get at Hollowed Sense. What? They have products inspired by Halloween and all things scary. They even have collections inspired by scary movies. Really? You can check them out at HollowedSense.com. That must be the reason you smell so good. <laughs> Wait, what? Make sure to use promo code GT10 upon checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hollowed Sense, where horror and smell goods come to haunt. Hey, what's up, dickheads? The tap room is officially open for business, and, and I'm Mike. I'm fucking. Tr- and you're not feeling good. I am not. I am very angry. I'm sorry. Fuck this weather. You don't make you feel better. It was so- almost 80 degrees yesterday, and then now it's like 30 it's degrees. Snowing. And it's snowing. It's snowing. And it was and 80 yesterday. Fuck my sinuses and my face and my head and my ears and just everything. I'm tired of being sick all the time. You don't make you feel better. Drinking. Well, that and there's another thing. What? Our awesome guest from the 69 Whiskey Podcast, Mish. Motorboat and Matt. How you doing, buddy? Hello, everybody. It is head advocate of the Big Titty Committee. Some of you may know me as the undercover brother on the Bromigos <laughs> podcast, but it is the underappreciated, under and underpaid alpha male of podcasting, Motorboat and Matt here for you today. And it's good to be here. It's been a long time coming. Why the fuck took you guys so long to come out, come over and uh, tell me you want to be on the show? I'm supposed to have my fucking co-host here, but that motherfucker <laughs> had some technical difficulties at the last possible minute. And that, I'm glad it happened this week and not last week. You tell that son of a bitch that I'm sick and I'm sitting here for you guys when I could have said, oh, I'm sick. He could have called in. He could have called in. We'll accept a call in. <laughs> you're sick you listen he, he had some, i know um, what's it, <laughs> he had like his entire monitor crapped out on him earlier last night and i'm just he calls me this morning and is like yeah i don't know if i'll be able to make it Shit. tonight and he's been driving around all across the fucking state of new jersey trying to find a solution and he wasn't going to get home in time trying for us to, to do it. the show so hey man eric i love oh, you buddy but boo. god damn it <laughs> most inopportune I'm for a computer crash, but that, oh. that's cool. I would, uh, I would, I mean, it, I, if if it was, if if I was, I'm, stu- I know, I'm stuttering. If I was stuttering in Eric's shoes, I would rather my computer crash on somebody else's show than on on our show. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 110%. like, no disrespect, but like, if something's gonna fuck up, I would rather it be on your show than mine. <laughs> it's like whose kid do you care about more this person's kid or your own kid obviously my kid <laughs> wait, right. wait 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 why are you fucking comparing kids and computers because they're both technologically savvy oh see how well a beer works with my new medicine no <laughs> because we that know that sounds like that. a horrible idea <laughs> That's a horrible idea. It's Patty. a terrible idea. I'm having one. I won't black out this time. Well, last time you not only of those, but no, you, I didn't. You mixed it with bourbon. No, I did not. I thought you did. I had four shots of bourbon, one vanilla cream stout beer yeah. on top of my medicine I was taking. Yeah. I blacked out. Yeah. I remember yeah. to the car after was, the car. I don't remember. She was Doug from The Hangover. White Doug, not Black Doug. <sighs> Tabby, you do the realize by, by you saying and I told no, him you I did don't... not, and then proceed to list down all the alcohol you were drinking to the point of blacking out, I would think <laughs> you don't remember what actually happened. I'm sorry. I Mike, do. you not exactly. To Mike that. remembers. No, I'm, not, but... no, I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> do you want to try the peach? White Claw. You're a White Claw. See, I'm I'm a, it's, I'm a it's not bad. as I, like as I said, I'm a I'm a man. I, I don't drink white claws. It's just not my thing. I, I like drinking whiskey and, and beer, and that's kind of just They're my potent. shtick. Uh, I'm sure they are, but I mean, I wouldn't be caught They're dead potent, with one no, of my dude. hands. Silent boy, dude. If you like whiskey, see if you can go online and order this. It tastes like blackberry jam. It is for those of you listening. It is the 
Starlight. Starlight Distillery. So it is a blackberry whiskey. Mm-hmm. It tastes it's like that, jam. 84 proof. Oh, it's so good. That sounds like it would be lethal with some um, <laughs> screwball. That sounds like it would be lethal with yep, some screwball. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Well, I like bird dog. Is that or peanut the, butter too? Peanut butter bird dog. Oh, whiskey. God, the bird dog. Oh, the yeah. peanut butter bird dog. Well, they make is a peanut butter. So good. A oh. peanut butter whiskey. Okay. I drank a bottle but of it, that once before I realized. <laughs> But does it go down as smooth as Screwball? Because Screwball is like water to me, and that's a problem. I finished a half a bottle in an hour because I'm like, I'm not feeling nothing. This is delicious. It's liquid peanut butter. It's a silent killer. And then I was on the floor. It It it, was great. Yeah, the bird dog peanut butter tastes like just pure peanut butter. Pure peanut butter. It tastes like, yeah, pure peanut butter. Just I'm going to keep keep a mental note of this. (laughs) <laughs> but it, it tastes like uh, uh probably one of the best pb and j's that you've ever had <laughs> uh, we okay. haven't mixed yet <laughs> so fucking good <laughs> uh if, if you're uh, a pb and j fan bad ideas or some great ideas listen yeah <laughs> I, I come oh, from a, oh. i come from a very <laughs> conservative household so like they don't really allow drinking in my own fucking house half the time so that's a it's a problem for me to even pour a beer for myself but i still manage to do it anyway because i don't give a uh, fuck that was my world too growing up i got in trouble and now drinking look at a beer us. before going to work when i still lived at home yeah <laughs> now now we have yeah, podcasts but- that have drinking in the title <laughs> yeah Exactly. We both do. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> the only difference our, our is yours actually include... talks about drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> our, our hobbies are to sit in front of a microphone and get Drink. drunk. <laughs> yes. Not for me tonight, though. Yeah, not for you. After we're done, I'm going to bed. <laughs> but I am. I'm gonna. I've got 13 more to go. 12 more to go. Congratulations. And I'll see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a edible or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay. getting adventurous we'll tonight. Merry oh, Christmas. My. It's my it's my birthday weekend. Don't judge oh. me. Oh. <laughs> well, my birthday ha- is on Sunday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday first and foremost. Thank you. I'm glad that I, I'm glad I could have a, a, <laughs> some kind of part in it, but if only I, I was <laughs> I appreciate there, it. partying. I would be partying with you guys right now. <laughs> oh yeah, the party's going down tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're going to go throw axes. Yeah, axe throwing. Axes and beer. That's such a bad combination though. There's a couple of axe throwing <laughs> places in Jersey too. Like what are yeah, what are y'all only, trying to do here? You're only allowed like two drinks. They only give you two drinks and then they tap yeah. you out. But what I, you drink before you go is you are you. not because somebody in our group is gonna end up going to the hospital. <laughs> Sharp objects. And, and it'll alcohol. probably be you or Jace. <laughs> yeah. More likely your brother. More than likely. Because he'll be chasing people. Like Jace, you can't do that here. This isn't that is kind of establishment. You have to throw it at the at the target, not the people. Oh god. <laughs> and that is how oh. serial killers are born. Speaking of, it, it is for the most part. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking of Chase. Yeah, but so, if he yeah. if he tried to take the serial killer out at a young age, he wouldn't have made it to the first victim. He would have tripped on something and killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, if you're listening, I love you. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Let's call it what it is. It's true. <laughs> Bless his, bless his little heart. Oh goodness! So this week we are uh, we're talking about some toxic fandoms, and there's a lot out there. Everybody's fan toxic though, to a degree, <laughs> for the most part. But the most part. Yeah. there are some more than others. And uh, I will tell you, my biggest one <clears throat> right out of the gate is sports. Sports fans. Sports fans are toxic hold on a second because we have to we we have to understand here that sports obviously if specific team rivalry fandoms are toxic i can agree with that but you know sports fandoms are not really the most toxic thing it all depends on what the rivalry between teams is like half the time there's a dynamic there it's not just oh the the way that i i think of it as a toxic fandom so say i'm like yeah i love football Colts are my favorite team. Go Colts. And then you have a, a really like hardcore Colts fan come up. Well, if you like the Colts, name three players. David, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can't. Like, go Colts. Yeah. Football. But like with any kind of, of sports team, you're like, yeah, I like that team. That's cool. I watch them whenever they play. And and like I'm telling you, people get really upset if you can't name people 
on the team or their stats. Oh. <laughs> what did I say the other night? Because I was oh, at a God. No, I was, was last like, night. She goes, she was making that example and she said, Oh, who's the quarterback? Who's the Colts quarterback? Who's running back? Who played in? Who play who plays outfield? And who I'm like, plays the far left outfield? Wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong sport. You you almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, see, that's that's what I'm trying to explain. Is like I might enjoy it, but I'm not gonna be able to list off 1998's football roster or How many touchdown passes that Peyton Manning throw in the 2003 season. 92. I don't know. No, that was just an example. I know, but I, again, like I said, I don't know. Just throw out a random number, and then you go, "Oh, you're not a real fan." The answer is forty nine. Uh, okay. No, no, I I can't like not say the answer. To that <laughs> see, see, toxic, toxic. Myself. Mike's being toxic right now. Yes. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. Stay is. toxic, kings. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm going to bed. I think for me. I think okay. it depends on how far they want to take the fandom. You know, there are some people that are like casuals and then there are some people that are hardcore fanatics. And I think it's the hardcore fanatics that kind of make it worse for the casuals for the most part, if you ask me. Yeah. So I think that's where like the toxic fandom start is just like those hardcore, you know, in the case of sports, like we were talking about, do you know who fucking played on the 1968 Coles team? Colts team, I should say. Uh, if you don't, you're not a real fucking fan, yeah. bro. See? Right. No, I get that. Yeah, but, sports sports fans can be tough. I get now, it. Now, sports, sports rivalry fandoms, though, could be really fucking fun. Like, for instance, hypothetically yeah. speaking, look at me and Mike on Bromigos. I'm a Giants fan. Mike's an Eagles fan. Mike wanted to fight me on the night of the Super Bowl because we, we were talking a little shit to him and he wanted to fucking oh, really? wipe us out of his existence. He was not happy. Oh, God. And I laughed about it. And I, I was, listen, Mike knows I love him. I love Panama Red, man. But Mike knows that I was looking forward to that loss, the Eagles losing in the Super Bowl more than anything in the world. And when it happened, I was like, this is the best day of my life. Because all that shit that Mike was telling me from being a, a fanatic Eagles fan and me being a Giants fan, all that shit, finally, I, I was right. The Eagles weren't going to do it. And that's where it could yeah. be fun. I, I will say toxic, I was pulling for the Eagles. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I just I just don't like him. He's, he's my new Tom Brady. Mahomes? Uh, but, you know, it nah, he, 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 can't be the new, he can't be the new Tom Brady, man. <laughs> He can't be the new Tom Brady. He hasn't won nearly as much to we'll even see. be considered in that conversation yet. Give give him five years and we'll see where it hap what happens. But we're not. I'm not going to make the whole yeah. Mahomes is the next Tom Brady. Maybe franchise of the NFL like Tom Brady. He's getting there. But as far as like winning the championships to back it up, no, he hasn't done that yet. Not. I was excited with Eric going to come on that we could talk about the Laurel K Hamilton and need a Blake series fandom together. <laughs> and then you said he wasn't, I was like, damn it, <laughs> damn it. That was my fandom. And that's <clears throat> not a toxic fandom. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about it. That's but true. When I found out that Eric knew about it, knew did, knew did about it. No <laughs> you mean to tell me that stupid fucking book he's been telling me to read for or that book series for he's been trying to read has a fucking <laughs> toxic fandom. You no, mean to tell not. me that stupid series has a toxic fandom? It is not stupid. That is where I found my sexual awakening. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a good series. Now, I've only made it like, I didn't know that there was like 25 books. Uh, a little bit behind. I'm only on like book eight or nine. So I got to step it up. Yeah. But I was I was kind of excited to talk about that. Like I had notes and everything. So I just deleted them. <laughs> well, well, what was one that you had mentioned? The Star Wars fandom? Uh, Hold on. I have a lot to talk about that with the Star Wars. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, hold on. So uh, our little sister, Michaela, uh, my best friend and uh, one of the producers, wrote this ginormous uh, thing about uh, what is a fandom? These are her top five, which is also pretty close to my uh, pretty close to my top five okay uh star wars marvel harry potter stranger things and of course anime 
Well, let's get into Star Wars. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me just say I am and have been for as long as I can remember a huge Star Wars fan. If if I've ever been toxic in that, I apologize. No. I, I like all nine films. I just don't like the Christmas special. That's it. <laughs> but nobody does. No, you're not toxic. Because remember the one for, well, fuck, he ain't even going to listen to it. Ed? Yes. Remember the one time he's like, well, you're in if you can't name the ninth star in it from the 14th moon of Elderon. I'm like, what the fuck? You're not a real Star Wars fan if you yeah. can't. Okay. He was just he was just happy that he had Jedi robes at the time, and I didn't. Yeah, Mish has a lot to say on the Star Wars oh, fandom, no. <laughs> so let's let's dive into that. Episode eight fucking sucks. That's that's where I start. That's where the whole like Star Wars fandom toxicity begins for me. Episode eight is fucking yeah. garbage. It's a good standalone movie. Elaborate. It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it, it's a good standalone movie, but in the entire Star Wars canon, it makes no fucking sense. And it pretty much takes a whole bunch of stuff from previous movies and implementing it into one fucking movie. It's essentially that uh Empire Strikes Back of that sequel, but it's not nearly as good as Empire Strikes Back was. Nothing is as so good as Empire Strikes Back. Well, I mean, if we're if we're comparing the prequel trilogy to Attack of the Clones, definitely doesn't stack up, and that's a whole different story for a different time. Um, <laughs> so there's that. There's where the first thing I, I where I become a little toxic because Episode Eight, The Last Jedi, is a trash fucking Star Wars movie. And then where I where I, here's the other thing, man. The whole the the TV shows. There's a couple of things I want to talk about with the TV shows. The Clone Wars was my like childhood <laughs> show. Like that's where. I like kind of fell in love yeah. with Star Wars again because there was such a drought of Star Wars content. And then the Clone Wars was ended and it didn't start again until 2020. So in between that, the end of the Clone Wars originally and the season seven, we had Rebels. And to me, Rebels is fucking child garbage. That's just my opinion. It doesn't look as good. It doesn't really have the same feel as what the Clone Wars had, it's just a really dumbed down kid version of it. How, how old are you? Me, I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, because you said that the, the Clone series was your childhood. Okay. So, yeah, I would have been. And I'm not even talking about 2003 so, Clone yeah. Wars. Oh, okay. See, I thought that's the one you were talking about. No, no, no. I, I have seen bits and pieces of that one when I was much younger than when I was when in 2008. But... 2008's Clone War series was okay. my Clone War series. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so that's where I become a toxic Star Wars fan. Is my opinions based off of those <laughs> yeah. shows and movies? Oh, I was gonna say I uh, I used to I guess you could say be a toxic fan because the first time I saw the prequel the the episodes one two and three I watched them and I I thought that they were shit and I used to give people shit that that liked them. A lot. And then one day, and this is uh, like not long after Disney Plus came out, actually, I went back and I watched them all and thought to myself, you know, these really aren't that bad after all, like going back and rewatching them and like really like honing in and paying attention to them. Now I actually like them. I, Revenge of the Sith is actually one of my favorites in the whole. All It's the best. It's the best one of the entire of the entire series, in my opinion. Yeah. But I love my it. thing is my thing is I actually and I you know what it's funny you mentioned the whole prequels versus origin original trilogy argument because if you ask me the prequels I think are have a better overall aesthetic than the actual original trilogy does yeah because there's so much they show so much more in terms of like alien life they show so much more in terms of a couple of um you uh, get a really planets. deeper dive into the universe. Exactly. It's a deeper dive in the universe. And as much as I love the original trilogy from a story perspective, it doesn't hold up nearly as well at from like a technological standpoint because everything in the in the prequel trilogy looks updated. It looks better. Yeah. And then you watch the the original trilogy and it's like, what the fuck was this massive downgrade in starships and and a big and, and the larger ships and all this stuff? Like everything looks so old looking. Like, yeah. holy fuck. 
So <laughs> there's that. I was going to say, can I just say, I just read what Michaela wrote. She said, newer and younger fans of the series of Star Wars tend to separate themselves from the older fans due to a severe disagreement over the new trilogy and TV series. But remember, guys, when it seems you agree on nothing, Han shot first. Yes, thank you. God damn it. <laughs> Han shot first. If you're listening to this and you think Greedo shot first, fuck you. Han <laughs> shot first. Can I also mention the irony of how racist fucking Star Wars fans are? When that new uh, Kenobi series came out and they had that black actress or whatever, I don't know how this fucking came about, but everybody started dogpiling her for like race shit because she was yeah, black or what, something. What the and you fuck would was think that about? I don't even know, but you would think a fucking you know fucking franchise like Star Wars that has multiple different religions multiple different alien races in, in addition to humans and things of that nature you would think they wouldn't fucking stoop to that level but for some reason you and mcgregor of all fucking people who we were all happy was coming back to the franchise is now looking at us like a bunch of fucking assholes not me particularly but the general the yeah. fandom yeah fandom as a bunch of assholes because People online are starting to spew racist bullshit towards this one actress. I don't even know who the fuck she is. I haven't seen the show yet, but yep. like, that's dude, she crushed up. it. She was amazing. She was okay. Well, I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to see what she does. Her her character arc is f like fucking phenomenal. I loved her on the show. She's she's a Sith. She she's a Sith. Well, that also kind of like falls into line with. I will say. I don't feel like Lord of the Rings fandoms is toxic either. No. They can be slightly because if you say I've never seen Lord of the Rings, then they're going to flip the shit. Well, yeah, what, I've never they... seen Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I know you haven't. We've already discussed this. What? what, what? Nope, never seen it. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I friends with you again? What the fuck, Matt? God damn. What the fuck? Get off our show right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, toxic. toxic. Yeah, yep. All the spewing. All the spewing. <laughs> Uh, but that that goes back to and I really hated the TV show but Amazon's Ring of Power yeah, is whenever they incorporated different uh, uh, races yeah like well, you had some of the elves were black. some of the elves were black yeah. some of the dwarves were black the the hobbits before they were hobbits they were black like the people were flipping their shit over it yeah J.R.R. Tolkien wouldn't have wrote it that way well no shit because he was British. Racist. He was he was British. <laughs> he's British. Yeah, that's why, because he's British. <laughs> but no, those are different types of like that's the different types of toxicity and fandoms that I see is like, oh, it's gotta be this specific way, or or this is the way it's gotta be done. Um you can't change anything, or the one thing about rings of power garbage outside of the Garbage. The acting was horrible. The acting was trash. But the the main thing that did it for me that the I said I'm not played Elrond. No, he was good. He was the best part of. I life. liked him. The guy when they revealed that uh, what's his face was uh, Sauron, the pretty boy on the boat. Oh yeah, we didn't watch that episode. I just nope. That I just cool. I yeah. I saw it on a TikTok video. I'm like <laughs> nope. I'm done. I'm out. I'm not. Yeah, this is done for me. I'm the over the it. timelines don't we're I, we're turning i'm turning into a toxic fan do we need right to get gas on here <laughs> oh no you want to get me and gas together again <laughs> in the same room but i think the only toxicity in the lord of the rings fandom it that is you haven't seen the extended whether, version well not that but like oh you think the hobbit's better fuck you <laughs> and i'm calling out amos? i'm calling out amos from moose lounge <laughs> <laughs> you that's all right it's it's me it's a, you and jeff against amos but it's okay to be wrong and have his wrong opinions and that don't make any fucking sense. Yeah, because I was gonna ask about that. What does the Lord of the Rings fans think of the Hobbit? The movie, it's trash. The book, it's great. Yeah, the book, but I I liked the first and third film. They should could've... they should they have done three? No, it could have been two easily. It should have been two, but they yeah. were greedy and money hungry and 
they told Peter Jackson to make it three instead yeah. of two. Even Peter Jackson was like, dude, I don't I don't no, want to do this. No, th- that's your Let's slap fine. a GoPro camera on a, a on a barrel dude, and send it yeah. down the water. In the second Hobbit film, they clearly use 20 minutes. like somebody's cell phone to film a whole fucking like scene in a like a battle scene on a river. Yeah. It was horrible. It's it's obviously like you just look at this at the footage and it's like, dude, this is a phone. Somebody strapped their phone to somebody else's forehead and yep. said, go. Yep. That's it. Yep. It's awful. It, it's like flip phone footage, <laughs> like like Motorola Razor footage. It's, it's awful. I can't attest to it because I've never seen it, but now I don't think I want to. It sounds like this second film is the fucking last Jedi of this series. <laughs> 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 no, the, the actually the last Jedi is shot way better. Yeah, still a shit story though. <laughs> it's it's a shit story. <laughs> uh, it's a whole lot of nothing for two and a half, th- almost three hours. Yeah, I do. I did like. Uh, I I enjoyed uh, Kylo Ren's character arc through those three films, though. I thought that was pretty cool. Listen, Kylo Ren and in his, in his is, is like one of the only redeeming qualities of that entire trilogy. Like, I like the first film. I think The Force Awakens is a good film. Yeah. And I think that The Rise of Skywalker could have been a good film if they weren't fixing all the fuck ups of the previous film before it. Yeah. So that's kind of where I feel about that trilogy. It's just the first film is great. Everything else is either trash and trying to fix the trash of a previous movie so i just i thought that luke skywalker's get off my lawn vibe was <laughs> stupid oh my lightsaber <laughs> fuck this thing I, i'm i'm leaving now and he just walks away you I don't hate, open i, I hated that I, I don't even want to get into it because how a <laughs> i'm gonna be toxic again how can <laughs> a group of Keep in mind, the people that watched the original trilogy, Luke Skywalker is their hero. Yeah. How could you watch your hero be reduced to, in your words, a get off my lawn type of guy? Yeah, a grumpy old man. Exactly. Like, come on, bro. Like, that just, it's terrible. And even Mark Hamill himself says he hate he hates the way he was written. Yeah. Yeah, if Mark Hamill hates it, you know it's bad. Yeah. And listen, Ryan Johnson, I've heard, has made some good films. But keep him the fuck away from Star Wars. I hear he's making some more shit for them. Please don't. You're fucking trash at making Star <laughs> Wars films. Yeah, because John Favreau is quitting The Mandalorian. No, yeah. he is. I didn't hear about this. Yeah. Why? <laughs> There's creative beef. With Filoni? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh God! Now this fucking film. Now this season or this coming seasons are going to be terrible. Now, oh no, shit. he he did this coming season, the third one, but after that, he's gone. Yeah, he he's like deuces because because it's it's already been shot. It's coming out in next week. That's okay. In two, in two weeks. When okay. is March first? March first is next. Is about two it's weeks two away. Weeks. Yeah, that's when it comes out. So yeah, I mean, clearly he's already he's done his work and put in his time on it. But, but after they were this, so good together. Yeah, I know. Shit, I know. John Favreau is a genius in anything he does, and Filoni's great too. But it's like, oh man, they they needed to be together. They were supposed to be the pair that saves the franchise, not fucking yeah. leave it in darkness. Like to yeah. quote the fucking Revenge of the Sith line. Well, but you know how Disney is. No. Ugh, Speaking of John Favreau and Disney. Yes, Jean Favreau and Disney. Marvel is another toxic fan. Okay. Fuck yeah. Marvel. You know what's funny to me? And I'm calling out all of the uh, non comic book reading. I only watched it for the movies, people. Marvel fans. Phase four. Ha ha. DC is winning now. <laughs> <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder. Trashed. Uh huh. I the, heard new that Ant- the new Ant-Man movie that came out today is sitting at a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh. Trashed. Oh. She-Hulk? Trashed. <laughs> I heard that was bad, too. Dude, um, no, She-Hulk started out pretty fucking cool. I watched the whole series. It started out pretty fucking awesome. Halfway through, what happened? What? They, it, just, it just dropped into the toilet. 
it started out, dude, in the clouds. The sun was shining on it. It was amazing. And then halfway through the series, just dropping it in a in a fucking cesspool of piss and shit. <laughs> All the duty. Can I just share my thoughts on Marvel? Because quite frankly, I don't have a lot to say because I've never seen any of the movies it, at all. Like any of the MCU, I haven't. I haven't really read the comic books. I had some, but I don't think I read them all that much. Like I like some superhero movies. Like I like the original Spider-Man trilogy. I yeah. like... Um, With Tobey Maguire? Yeah, Tobey Maguire one. Okay. I've, I have I ha- I like Batman as far as like the DC side of things goes, like he's one of my favorites. I love justice league when I was a kid. Um, but man, superhero films just don't do it for me. And every time that these movies come out, Marvel fans make it like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm like, this, this is what hypes you up. Like I'm hearing the stuff that phase four, like this is the shit that you guys hype up for months on end. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. I, I just don't understand it. Like, this is why, I think Thanos should have just won. Leave if you don't do Endgame, leave Infinity War the way it is. I've never seen Infinity War, but it's my favorite movie because the bad guy wins. That's really it. <laughs> <laughs> Made sense. Like eliminate half of y'all, and and the rest of the world universe is fine. But yeah. Jesus Christ, man, these these films and the people that support these films just need to get a fucking grip. They're most of these movies are not that great. Now I will say with the with that I do I've seen I have seen almost all of them the newer ones that have just recently come out I haven't seen yet I think the last one that we've actually seen was uh uh in game no oh Doctor Strange yeah yeah we went and saw that back in May yeah that one was good uh Spider Man No Way Home was oh, yeah. fucking amazing I loved okay that. I heard that one was good dude that movie that dude good. that movie crushes it's so fucking good. I would watch that for nostalgia. That was really it. That's the only movie I would ever watch from the entire MCU is just for the nostalgia Dude, point of view. We, of uh, well, two, I, well, now I guess it's two Christmases ago yeah, when it came to, out. Tennessee. We, we went to Gatlinburg on a, we took a family vacation. We went to Gatlinburg. And as soon as we got in town, we, uh, we, uh, went to our room, unpacked all our shit and went to the movie theater to go watch it. And I'm sitting there watching this, and then, you know, I, it it's been long enough. You know, Tobey Maguire's in it. <laughs> when I mean, he, I, I, I've seen the spoilers. It's probably the worst kept secret in all of cinema. Let's be honest. Yeah, probably. Well, actually, it was it was spoiled for me. Uh, I was scrolling through TikTok, just watching videos, laying There's in bed, and and like the three in a row, three TikTok videos in a row is these assholes in the movie theater filming it, and then they posted it. Like, I hadn't seen the whole movie yet. This was, like, a week before that we went to go see it. I'm like, God damn it. But, no, seeing Tobey Maguire come out, dude, I just, like, man. It it was the, one of the coolest things. <laughs> That's my and, Spider-Man. And, and Andrew Garfield, dude, he was in it. He They all crushed. And seeing all it. three of them together, dude, it was, like, three, I guess you could say, generations just yeah. all standing next to each other and just doing their thing. It was cool as fuck. Now, could you imagine if Miles Morales was in there? Soon. Soon, soon my guy. Soon. Yeah. I'm I'm soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon. It's coming. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for it. It's it's inevitable at this point. Um but uh Marvel is also <laughs> the toxic fandom for Marvel, it's super misogynistic as well. Is it? I mean, if you look at it, Marvel, they don't really write the scripts very well for females. Look at look at uh, uh, Captain Marvel. It was very poorly written. Nobody likes Brie Larson. No, I thought it was a good. I thought it was well written. Just Brie Larson is not a good actress. It wasn't. I hear she's should, a bitch, too. In real life, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard she's I heard she was hard to work with. She, her, she's not a good I think the movie would have done better if somebody else was cast I just don't think she was believable as that character that's the problem it's not it, it that's just what I that's my opinion because Captain Marvel there's so much potential for so many great things just she didn't sell it for me I think I think they should have went with somebody else 
Who who would you have chosen instead of her then? Uh, God, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I haven't really thought about it. That, that would be a that would be a good uh, recast yeah. that we could do is recast MCU. Yeah. Well, no, Robert Downey Jr. stays. You leave him the <laughs> fuck alone. You don't touch him. He's well, everybody precious. gets a free pass. Everybody gets one free pass. Chris Evans gets a free pass. <laughs> uh, now, Scarlett Johansson, crush. she's a great actress. She crushed being Black Widow. Yeah. She did that character more than justice, I think. Uh, Evangeline Lilly as the Wasp crushed it, knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Still going strong. Oh, yeah. She's a good actress. She's a great actress. I love her. I'm a huge fan. Uh, Zoe Zaldana as Gamora. Yeah. Amazing. Every movie that's ever broke two billion, she's in it. Really? Amazing. Amaz and everyone loves her. It's just Brie Larson sucks. She just sucks. She's not good at her. She needs work. <laughs> <laughs> just, and nobody likes Brie Larson. Really feel nobody like. likes Brie Larson. She's she's mean. Okay. My, so we're just can... listen. It's toxic fandoms, and we're just being toxic today, man. Stay toxic, <laughs> Kings. Like we said, <laughs> only, only to Brie Larson. <laughs> yeah, only toxic Brie Larson. To Brie Larson. <laughs> Stay toxic. Fuck her. She's she's mean. She doesn't like her fans, and she's just not good at what she does. She takes it out on other people. Should I go with another one, or do you have do, another no, one? No. Oh, another fandom? Yeah. I do. Uh -huh. For the people who only like Batman. Oh. <laughs> that is a toxic. What are you trying to say, Mike? <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? It's going to jump through the screen and punch you in your face. Listen, Batman is one of my favorites. Love him. Always have. Michael Keaton is my Batman. From this day until my last. Next, next to Ben Affleck. But the people that are, well, if Batman could win, if he had prep time, well, let's not give him that. Now what? Yeah, that's true. Batman always beats Superman. No, he doesn't. No. Outside of the, the canon storyline, Superman is undefeated against him. He's like 15 and 0. There are other superheroes there in the DCU. Others. That That's. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Green Lantern. Yeah, Green, Green Arrow. Green my Arrow. favorite. Yeah. You have failed the city. But that's that's my my small issue with like Batman people. Oh, the Batman fandom. Ba yeah, Batman always wins because he's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a justifiable response. I'm sorry. I love Batman. I do. I love him so much. You know, you say how Michael Keaton and Bruce. Uh, but not, Michael Keaton and uh, Ben Affleck Bruce, are your are Bruce your uh, Batman's. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Affleck. I don't know why I was Bruce for a second. But, well, um, no. played by Ben Wayne. So <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> but um, but uh, nah, Kevin Conroy, man, Kevin Conroy was my Batman. I've watched a lot of the animated stuff from back in the day, and yeah. like, like I said, Justice League was my shit back in the day, yeah. and I just loved it so much that. Kevin Conroy was my Batman. I, it, it, I wasn't affected at first when I first heard the news. And then I realized just how much I've listened to him play Batman mm -hmm. in animated yeah. shows. And then I think I thought to myself, Oh fuck, this guy was my childhood. Now I'm really sad. So that's well, my bad. Right there. If you, if you really want to shit your pants, the uh, suicide squad video game coming out, th that's about to come out uh, this summer. Kevin Conroy is Batman one last time. That makes so. me happy. <laughs> he, he, he got, he got, he got one, one last, last one. He got one last ride in. Good man. Good man. Yeah. But May yeah, he rest in peace. Pour, pour one out for Kevin Conroy. Rest in power, King. Well, no, I meant live, a, live action Batman. It's, it's Michael and Ben. Robert Pattinson, though. That was really good. He, he plays a good young brooding Batman. Dude, let's be fair. Yeah. I did not expect see, that. Yeah. Oh God. Because what was it when we we went and saw it? I left the theater. I went, man, that guy. He's that's one of my Batmans right there. That guy. He killed it. Listen, I was as pessimistic as everybody else when I first heard about him being casted, and then I went to go see the movie with my brother, and then I sat there and I'm like, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the guy right here. This is the guy you build a trilogy off of. 
Uh, another fandom, if you guys are finished, that is toxic. Yes. Harry Potter, dude. That surprises me. Yeah. Harry Potter. Uh, what house are you in? If you're not a, a oh, you don't know what house you're in. Well, that's stupid. You should know. Oh, you're not a, a Slytherin. Well, then you're stupid. Like, shout out to all my Hufflepuffs out there, by the way. Shout out to my Slytherin. Bitches. <laughs> shout out to Hufflepuff. Yellow and black, baby. <laughs> that's right. See, you're a Slytherin. I am a Slytherin. Thank you. I, I don't watch Harry I Potter. So, oh, I, you're this, fine. There is yeah. nothing. I'm not going to trash you for that because honestly, I, st- I still like Harry Potter. I like it. It's <sighs> it's fun. Magic is cool. It is, but it's Oh, God, once you reach a certain age, leave it the fuck alone. Like, yeah, that's cool. You want to you're a Slytherin, buy a Slytherin scarf or a keychain. Congratulations. But don't fucking dress up like Harry Potter characters all the time. You're almost 40. Stop. Sorry. (laughs) I am. That's exactly my problem. I will be 40 in two years. <laughs> <laughs> I am almost 40. But you don't have like full get up. Like that's that's cool and shit. But this is a children's book. It's a children's movie. It was meant for children, young adults, young they, youth. They cuss in it a little bit. They say damn. They say damn. <laughs> I mean, people, there's death, murder. Oh, my God. <laughs> so would you, anyway. would you make fun of me if I had a Hufflepuff robe? Probably that's a I yes. Would. I would. <laughs> you, Mish. I post a picture, Mish. You suck. <laughs> I, what are you sh- for? I, I would just call you a virgin on social media and be like, "Look at this virgin." <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do now. Like, I make like my, my friends that are into like the really nerdy shit. Like, the, um, not this is all nerdy, but like like the stuff like the Harry Potter and D and D. Like, I call them virgins. That's I call them nerds and virgins. That's what I think they are. I th- and I like fucking As with them because it makes them just mad. shot his eye daggers at me. She just started playing D and D, and I'm I'm getting ready to start playing D and D. Well, virgins. when you well, listen, man, you guys are both virgins now in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Go outside, you fox. <laughs> we, we do play outside when get, it's warm. It gets yeah. <laughs> we go LARPing, damn it. <laughs> we play we play Dungeons and Dragons on a picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I LARP. I want to go LARPing. That would be fun. I, I I would love to go outside and hit people with things. Foam swords. Oh, it has to be foam? Or yes. can it be real swords? No. Can I bring my lightsaber? Carl, you can't do that. It kills people. <laughs> I use real swords and just start cutting heads off. Would you stop? <laughs> oh, this isn't for I real, my bad. <laughs> I support it. Matt sees me on the on the national news. I know him. See me in handcuffs. <laughs> See me in handcuffs. Shout out to Matt Mitch of the 69 Whiskey. This is for you, bro. <laughs> I'd be like, took out some virgins for me, Mike. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> He's in court at my hearing. He's wearing a free Mike t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got the tap room logo on the back. <laughs> Mike did nothing wrong. <laughs> free, oh free, shit! Free my guy! Free my guy! <laughs> free my guy! Oh my god, that's great! You know, it'd be really fucking cool though. You know, it'd be like not it's not LARPing, but it'd be really fucking cool to do uh, battle reenactments. Now you may be thinking nerd, but at the same time, you're holding guns. Which is cooler than fucking foam swords? Oh, like civil war reenactment shit. Like civil war reenactments, uh, revolutionary I would love to do war, a civil war shit yeah, like I that. Would... Yeah, but they're like Nerf guns. No, they use blanks. They're real guns. They use no, how the no, blanks. But but how do you know? Is... You just can't yeah. Alec. You just can't Alec Baldwin the whole thing. <laughs> oh, too soon, Mike. Too soon. It was not too soon. That was beautiful. It's never too soon. <laughs> Fuck that guy. You, know, you can make them into like paintballs so that you know when you hit somebody, it'll go. <laughs> you could be like Bam Margera and use a potato launcher. <laughs> I'm from the future. Oh my God. <laughs> you go out there in a civil war reenactment, you got potato launchers firing them off at just for strangers. And, 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 and this motherfucker's out here with the musket and he grew his mutton chops for five weeks and he's just like, <laughs> this motherfucker here. <laughs> who who invited him? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying that would be cool. 
that would be cool. Yeah, so doing I would love to do like a Civil War reenactment. That would be dope. That would be fun. But you have to like live that life for like a few days. There's there's actually um there's a little town right up the road. David Hetzer could hook us up with that because he does yeah. it. Uh, Spring Mill. They also have like reenactments up yeah. there where you can live, where they live on the property throughout oh, the sum throughout the summer. Throughout. See, that's that's dope. I would love to do that. Through throughout the summer. Yes. Because my name is Fifin. For those of you listening, Mike Tyson has entered the entered the <laughs> show. But Welcome to the show, Mike Tyson. Hello. If and the holy field to ear tasted really good. <laughs> I want to fight Jake Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. But no, yeah, that would be cool. Um, I I have a toxic fandom I that I want to... <laughs> Same thing as mine? No. Same and it'll be brief. Similar to mine? It'll be, it'll be brief. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm looking at you diehard Supernatural fans. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, those! Did are... I hit a nerve? No, no. Did I hit a nerve? I'm sorry. No, it's it's not... justifiable. It's not toxic until you dive deeper into the shipping. You can't say you're. If you say one wrong thing about anyone on that show, then according to them, then you're an asshole. No, no. You can say stuff like that, but when you start trying to unship. Dean and Castiel. <laughs> I mean, go ahead, babe. Go. No, go. No, if if people, that's fine. I don't care. But I, I just do it to get a reaction out of Michaela. Honestly. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but when you when you start to like, what is it, Destiel? Dean and, and Dean and Cass. Yeah. Dean and Cass, or Win Wincest. That What's is the that? most disgusting. Oh, it's the Dean and Sam. Yeah. Oh, incest. yeah. You know what, what be, the you, fuck? You know yeah. what? You know what turns me on is when two brothers are fucking each other. <laughs> what? That's a, that's a fandom. That's what an, an that's an fuck? entirely different that, fandom. Yeah. That's but when that's you illegal. Start... <laughs> what the fuck? Put these people in a goddamn FBI watch list. <laughs> Oh, it, the dark web is terrifying when it comes to uh, going down the rabbit hole of fandom and uh, what do they call it? The incest. No, not oh. incest. Jesus Christ. When you get into fan fiction. Yes. Oh, there yeah. it is. When you get but into who like wants dark to watch fan fiction. Two but OK, siblings. OK, just leave that alone and let me move on. Yeah, go ahead, please. I don't but want to when talk you about start that. trying to unship things that people have already been shipping yeah. for the past 20 years or 15 years that it's been going on. Yeah. That's when that that supernatural fandom gets super fucking toxic. Yeah. Or if you're like season seven sucks. <laughs> it did. I know. But everybody's no, it did. Yes, it, it did. made no it fucking trash. sense. Was that the season where they killed Lucifer? No, that was the season that had like the black oozy thingies. No, the the final 23 ep- seasons is when they killed Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm trying to remember because there was a big man. The last time I like I really remember. like watched Supernatural and I don't know what season this was. It was they were using like their illegitimate brother or something or Lucifer was using like their illegitimate brother to like be to do some evil I, shit and I dean was, was apparently force. dead yeah dean was dead every other episode every other season and so yeah they kind of like spun a, like a random wheel like who's gonna it die this 13. season let's spin the wheel who's lucifer die? died in 13 was it 13 yeah okay yeah See, it goes to show how long it's been how, since i've oh, watched yeah. supernatural so oh it's been a while for us too we binge watched the whole thing too yeah, and I thought the show was awesome because I'm like, oh fuck, these dudes fight vampires and yep. werewolves and ghosts and demons, angels, demons, angels, demons, angels, die. demons, die. angels, demons, angels, demons. Die, die. <laughs> like, okay, oh, here's a vampire. Oh, cool. Werewolves. Oh, fuck yeah. How come the werewolves don't turn into? <laughs> I don't know. They stay people, but they're werewolves. No, that's that, not a werewolf. So that's a person with. Long fingernails. Th- throwing this out there, I'm pretty sure Michaela's going to li- be listening to this one. If you would like to uh, call me and leave me a very nasty voicemail for that, <laughs> I'll call <me>. it. <laughs> oh, call yeah, me. call him. Leave a voicemail. 
<laughs> if I mean, anybody has anything to say about these toxic fandoms, please, 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 yeah, please do. No, I don't. I don't think Supernatural is a dumb show because I mean it wouldn't have lasted 15 seasons if it was, and it's got a huge following. But calm down. I am gonna wrap this up. Unless you have another one. I do. Go ahead. And this almost applied to me. Uh-huh. But the uh and wait, do you have any more bat? Yes. I have one and it could be a long time, so who knows? <laughs> um, wrestling is a toxic oh. fandom. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll, we'll do that on the live. How about we do that on the live? We'll do that okay. one on the live. Oh, and then once the live drops, it'll go to the YouTube. So if you want to hear their takes on yeah, toxic wrestling fandom. Go check out our YouTube channel. Can I yeah. just say can I just say one thing and then I'll get more in depth with it? Yeah. I think it the toxic fandoms start for me when it comes to the podcasters. I'm and I say that and I say that because I am actually, you know, acquaintances or friends with one of these big time podcasters in wrestling where you know they're they're just critiquing everything on the show and it's far hard for them to find enjoyment because that's kind of what their job is is critiquing the shows week to week yeah and man when you start watching that on a regular basis it really kind of fucks with you like it's like fuck this show sucks and then you <laughs> but then if you don't want listen to them as much or if you don't listen to any podcast involving wrestling you just want to sit and enjoy the show as a casual fan right it's it's not that bad. It's like there are things that could be better, yes, but there are things that are not as bad as people make them out to be because they get right. paid to they get paid for that sort of thing. I'm not naming any names, but you know, there are people out there that definitely make a living for shit like that. Oh but, yeah. And of course the individual uh fandoms of each of the wrestlers which is probably even worse than the overall fandom itself we'll get into that more in the live but yeah <laughs> mine uh my my final one was gonna be the uh and it hurts to say it really does but I, i'm just gonna throw it out there and this almost this kind of falls on me a little bit because i was a part of it um but the uh zack snyder Justice uh, League. Just uh DC folks. Yeah. Guys, he, he had a good run. He did awesome shit, but let's it's time to go. It's, we gotta Move let on. go. We gotta let James Gunn do his thing now. It's over, it's finished. You're killing me. <sighs> but I did watch the Zack is. Snyder Justice League. It's a great movie. It's, it's one long of as favorite. fuck, but it it's is. really good. It's so fucking good. I it's love one of the it. few times okay. that I've sat and enjoyed a superhero movie post Spider Man trilogy. Yeah. Also, shout out to uh, Jay from Porn Stash. Fuck you. It was a great movie. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. It was a great movie. I loved it. <laughs> and I, I loved Man of Steel. We love I, you. I loved. <laughs> I loved Batman v Superman. I like. I loved the Wonder Woman. I loved. I like. I liked it all. I did. It I was even great. enjoyed Wonder Woman 1984, which everybody else fucking hated. I thought it was great. It was. Well, it wasn't great. It was all right. It was cool. It was cool. Pedro Pascal could have done a little bit of a better job in it. He had to but, play a sleazeball, though. Yeah, he's not good at playing a sle a, a bad guy. Oh, he is not. He's not good at playing a bad guy. No, he is. He not. sucks at it. He could. He he's better at being the dad. <laughs> yeah, he's you good took at, the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> he's do it what now? Say it again. He's good at. Go I ahead. said he's better at being the dad DeLorean. Oh, the dad DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the last of us. On the last of us. Yeah. He's, he's good I at playing the good guy. Oh, dude, it is very good. Fuck. Never that... played the video game, but it is. I, I, I enjoy it. Me either. Uh, I just like the show. I, it's a zombie show. So I, I'm, I'm already in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you had me there. I'm good. I'll watch it. <laughs> Another couple of lucky I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> All right. Another couple of honorable mentions that I'm just going to throw out because I was thinking of them. Go for it. Horror movies. Yes. That God. is super fucking toxic. I mean, I, I'll go ahead and I, I, I am part of that. But that was because I grew up on like the original type horror movies and the OGs. the ogs i mean like halloween michael myers jason nightmare on elm street friday the 13th all that shit but those are those are pretty the horror movie is horror 
movie industry franchises is 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 it's fucking toxic yeah especially in the uh, haunted house community no don't even get no nope. which is double toxic that right is, there no that's that is <laughs> that's its own brand of toxic radioactive yeah disgusting yeah anyway that's chernobyl <laughs> that's what that fucking is that's no, chernobyl. chernobyl is a daycare compared to <laughs> yeah <our community. laughs> sorry but yeah the, the horror it's a good thing i horror. don't like horror oh it's well i mean I'm the kind of person like cool. You enjoy. I'm really horror. struggling with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just not my thing. It's cool. It's not for every. I mean, it's not. For, it's not for everybody. It's not. It's not. But I mean, like when you get down to it, where it's like, oh, well, how many leads were used on John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween? Because they had to scoop them up and put them in trash bags and reuse them. How many leaves were painted? And, like, no, no, that's ridiculous. They filmed it in the summer. Why is there dead leaves on the ground? Yeah, be, be, because they were fake leaves. They but filmed no, it in it, California. In California. The California. <laughs> California. <laughs> Anyway. That's a good Arnold. Thank you. Thank you. I've been working on my Arnie. I've been working on my Arnie. That was a good one. That little Shut- noise that you made. That was a good one. Shout out to Ty from Phantom Jukebox for that was he your vocal channeling. Coach? He was yeah. He was channel. I was channeling him doing my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Uh, it's filmed in California. Good, get to the chopper. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you stupid bastard. You stupid you swine. You are one ugly motherfucker. You fucking choir boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And there it went right out the window. What was the other one? I did I I had like a whole list I was gonna ramble off, but you got me thinking. Uh The Walking Dead? That Walking Dead was yeah. No. No, 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 really, really. Like Walking Dead was is absolutely um is is definitely a, a toxic fandom. The toxic definitely. part of that fandom is the people who you still watch it. Uh, yeah. Rick is gone. What the fuck are you watching uh, it Glenn for? Glenn died, and I stopped watching. Bitch, I like to see the end of a fucking story. That's why I watch it. I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of stopped shortly after Rick left because I just lost track of everything, and I just didn't have time to watch it anymore. Yeah, I mean that's that's fine. But when you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna stop watching yeah. because a main character is gone like give it a shot give it a couple episodes i mean look at me in rings of power i fucking love lord of the rings yes. i adore J- J- R- R- Tolkien. Yes. i love his works i love everything but i gave it four episodes i couldn't finish because it was trash Mm-mm. i i gave it after the second or third one yeah it was a hard watch but i mean as long as you give it a shot and if you can't finish it out then that's fine but oh god walking dead is a toxic fandom not to mention yeah. the whole Carol and Daryl fucking shipping that never oh, happened. Yeah. I think. No, it I don't not. know this for a fact. Okay, so it never happened. I haven't. Yeah, again, I no, haven't finished it. So I'm not gonna lie. Like in the, in the series finale, the final waiting. episode, we were both like, "All right, here it goes. This is it. It's now or never." Because they had a scene that, like, one more scene together. Where it was just them. I'm like, "All right, here we go. It's now or never." And then they hugged. I'm like, "Oh man, come so on, busy. friend zone." Oh. <laughs> Uh, do you remember the time jump too so it's been longer technically <laughs> so yeah because there was a six so it's been 18 years 18 <laughs> years but the toxic fandoms are like people who are like oh fuck fear of the walking dead that's stupid uh world beyond that's stupid walking dead is where it's at like yeah it's definite toxic <laughs> Man, I'm so dumb. Mil- oh yeah fucking bullshit millhouse from the simpsons people who talk like that are toxic uh <laughs> well actually yeah dudes who say if you say well actually i already don't care what you have to okay. say okay <laughs> that leads right into the next one and my last one is fucking anime anime fandoms and away we go toxic <laughs> as fuck? yeah yeah all right, I'm not going to lie. There is some toxicity within fandoms. I mean, it, it, the, the ones that I'm a part of definitely have toxicity, specifically Dragon Ball and Naruto. But um, <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? So you yeah. like the anime, do you? I mean, I like guy. anime. I don't like a, I mean, I, I don't watch it as much as other people do that make it their entire personality trait. But, you Dude. know, I, I enjoy watching some anime on fucking Toonami every now and again. Like, yeah. 
my my anime I begins and ends with uh Pokemon, Pokemon Indigo League. It, that's it. I've never I like Digimon. I've I watch never... a little bit of Sailor Moon, but that's about as far as I go. I don't know any of all this like Inuasha uh uh naruto tamagaranachi mitsubishi <laughs> bless you yeah kazoon Taik. wait cow- cowboy bebop though any, any cowboy no. bebop I have wow no, idea. no, no. Idea what that okay. i know what it is but I've you should watch it. it i think you'll i think you guys would enjoy cowboy bebop it took me you know 20 some odd years to fucking watch that too so a friend I of ours just watched that last summer a friend of ours told us oh you guys should watch uh what was it castlevania you would really like it and so i oh, watched yeah. like an episode of it and i'm like i can't i just don't like it yeah i don't like anime it. but like like it's cool if you like anime that's awesome it you that's know cool I, if you like anything i, I, I get I, shit on you i tip my hat anything. to you for watching you know that but if you make it your personality oh Get away from me, please. Don't Ooh. talk to if, me. If you start buying waifu statues, you got issues, bro. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I'll agree don't, with you. <laughs> waifu statues are like the fucking anime chicks with like the big titties. And, you know, they look like they're probably like much younger than they actually look in the show. And people like yeah. stand over them. It's it's listen, <laughs> man, I, I know it all because I have a friend that's kind of like that. So, OK, I, uh, there's I, this I, guy I clown him all the time. On TikTok, that has this full body pillow, and that's it's, exactly uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't even that, know how just the statues. That like, uh, he has a full body pillow. And he goes, "Me and Masiki Ma, Masiki Wa is <laughs> no wait, stop, Masiki she, Ma. Wait, she she is my fiance, mother. She is allowed to sit at the dinner table, mother. Don't what? you talk to me, stepdad. You are nothing to me. Me and Masiki Wa are gonna be together forever. Like it was bad. It was bad. Please tell me yeah. that's an act." Please, please tell me that's like. Fucking... Oh, it is an act, but I actually oh, found one that was who is my anime girlfriend. I'll, I'll, I'll there send are, it to you. There are please people don't. like that, though. Also, oh my god. Don't. Oh, do you want to? Do... Want... <laughs> please don't. Do to get off on body pillows of anime characters. <laughs> no, I was I was actually talking to somebody last night about the dudes who would try and date me in college. Because uh, of course I was homeschooled through high school, so I never had interaction until I got to college. And then all of a sudden, all of these anime guys are like, "I play D and D." You know the whole kid who goes, "I've got God and anime on my side." Like, yeah, yeah. So, and this guy I found last night on TikTok, he was like, "All right, so which anime girlfriend is gonna be my girlfriend?" It was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Fucking virgins, man. Oh, I <laughs> swear to God. I'm gonna start saying that now. Fucking virgins. Fucking virgins. Listen, if that's not if that's not in everybody who's listening to this episode's vocabulary by the end of you listening up to this point, I, I it should be because that's exactly what I that's my response to every person that's like that. A fucking virgin. That's all I have to say. I, I have nothing more to say on that end. Like again, <laughs> I have I'm a part of the toxic fandoms of animes I like, but yeah. at the same time, I'm not a, I'm not as bad as that. I'm good looking enough to get girls, and I don't have to rely on body pillows to fuck in the middle of the night. Okay. <laughs> I live in Spain, but the S is silent. Do the housekeeping. Son of a bitch. I even get it on this show. Well, first of all, it's nice, to, <laughs> it's nice to finally fucking be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. I hope to do this again soon when my co-host does not have fucking technical difficulties. So hope I'm here as a tandem. Um, but I will say this much. Thank you so much for having me here. And ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this wonderful, the velvety tones of Motorboat and Matt, you can check out. 69 whiskey podcast on your favorite podcasting platforms i'm also on the bromigos podcast you can also find those on your favorite podcasting platforms and as far as links and all that shit goes check us out on twitter 69 whiskey pod and bromigos pod respectively and all the link trees are in the in the bios and that's where you could find out all of my shows and all of the platforms that each show is a part of so just to make life a little easier for you just check the twitter 
As always, thanks for listening to this episode. Don't forget to check out our link tree at linktr.ee slash Gray's Taproom Podcast 2. You will find many ways to support us. Buy us a coffee because we will be hung over after this episode. You can subscribe to our Patreon. Three tiers are available for you. Get your buzzed on for $3, get tipsy for 5 or fully loaded for 10 Don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, and always drink responsibly. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Tap room closed. Good night. Bye.